Okay, now we'll demonstrate how to perform a step voltage high pot test using the PPX30A with the AWA in automatic mode. So once the proper uh, test ID has been selected, we simply just need to run the auto test by pressing the run auto test button. And it will walk us through uh, attaching the high voltage leads because you normally do MEGR and PI with the AWA unit. Um, once it's ready to move on to the power pack, which it already is now, uh, it'll instruct us to disconnect the analyzer leads, place them on the top of the unit, and connect the power pack leads to the motor under test, which I've already done. Um, now we'll take the power pack function knob to the proper position for this test, which in this case is the one of the three um, microamp per division settings, either 100, 10, or 1. And as we start the test, we want to be in the 100 microamp per division setting. If present, move the test lead selector switch to the proper position for this test. Now the test lead selector switch, we need to go back through the ground position if we're not already in the ground position, and then select the high pot position for the step voltage and conventional high pot testing. Now we're ready to continue, so we press continue. And it says to start testing, we'll press the power pack test button. In this case, I'm gonna use the foot switch. I will now increase the voltage to the desired tar target voltage, which in this case is 5,800 volts, by turning the voltage control knob clockwise and watching the voltage level indicated here in the lower right-hand corner of the step voltage test screen. Once I get to 5,800, I can stop ramping. And you see the step time remaining will begin to decrement down. We'll begin to decrease uh, after the now, after my current is stable, I watch my current level, then I can change my microamp per division setting down to be more accurate current measurement. If my current still isn't visible, then I will ramp it down again, ensuring that I have the most accurate leakage current uh, present. In this case, we're, we have zero leakage current because we have a very good winding. You can also select levels to see the voltage level and the current um, chart there. Okay. All right, now the first step is complete and it's instructing us to increase to our next, next step of 6,800 volts to um, to do that this time, I'm gonna decrease the ramp rate by taking it from the three position to the five position because that last ramp was um, a little further and it went rather quickly. So I'm gonna do a little bit slower. We're only gonna go a thousand volts this time. Now I'm ready to increase the voltage. I'll do that by uh, turning the voltage control knob clockwise. And now I'm mindful of the voltage. When it gets to 6,800, I'll stop a little bit further. There we go. And we see the step time remaining begins to decrease. On this on the second step we can go back to the grid we can see the different steps that we're going to have to go through here and for the sake of time we'll probably advance the video rather quickly and we'll see you on the other side So we're ramping down on our, on our final step now, and you can see that the current has been slightly increasing as we've uh, proceeded on. One of the things we were watching as we were increasing the uh, step voltage is to ensure that the current does it, the change in current doesn't more than double between steps, which it doesn't do in this case. Um, once we're 
timed out on the last step, though, will be complete uh, with the step voltage test. We can take our foot off the test switch. It says waiting for the voltage to dissipate. We want to take the test lead selector switch to the ground position, and that will uh, make, ensure that the winding has a path uh, to discharge.